welding kit came in the mail finally. This is for the rear, so we can lower about two inches on the rear end. Once I finish this, I will move to the front, which I have to drop the lower control arm, remove the shock, pull the spring, and then cut a link out of the spring. Save your comments for your grandma. The older Chevys are designed for cutting. As long as you don't do it with a heat torch or a plasma cutter, you can use a cutoff wheel and take one link off at a time and put everything back together and hope it's level. If not, then I have to pull the front back apart and take another link out or more and go from there so let's get started first we've got to get the rear end jacked up get some jack stands underneath here to support the rear end and then a jack under the pumpkin to support the axle cut off the stock shackles lift the axle out of the way and then put the blocks in and put the new shackles on so let's get started so now we're under the back of the car you can see the original shackles and the original shock plate now you have two options here you can either take these nuts off if they're not too rusted which these aren't or you can cut at the top here and these will spin out of the way and you can drop them down and then you'll have to cut them again to get them through this plate because you need to reuse this plate jack the axle up two inches so that we can put the block in and then put the new shackles on i'm going to try and take them off first with a socket because these aren't too rusty maybe they are Now with this plate removed, there we go, you can pull the shackles and get ready to put in the block. We're going to need to jack the axle up just a bit to get this block in. We'll do one side at a time. So now we have room to get our block in. Get out of here, you mutt. All right, lower it. There we go. Now we can slip the new shackles over. Get them into position. One more good one, right there. All right, keep going, keep going. Hang on right there for a second. That's significantly lower. I may still go lower in the future. I'm not real sure yet. I could add another inch, maybe another two inch block. Not sure. That'll be quite low then. Now onto the front. It should level it off a little bit, make it match. Hello. Right there. There it is. And there you have it. Spring out without killing myself or anybody else. Now what you can see with these, is because they're older GM style springs, they don't have a flat spot on the top like newer springs and they don't bend over to touch this coil. So what you can do is cut as many coils as you need 
to lower them. Now the rule of thumb is that for every inch you take out of the unsprung height, right now it's unsprung so we can measure from the ground to the top of this coil, and every inch down we take off. So it's not a full turn like most people think. It's for every inch down you take off, you're gonna get two inches of body drop. So we're gonna take a tape measure to this, and then we're gonna see if it's about one coil or not. We'll measure it, cut it, and then we'll put it back in and go from there. So from coil end to coil end, we have, I wanna say 16 and seven eighths. So if we go down to 15 and seven eighths, holy mackerel, it's exactly one coil. Wasn't as hard as I thought. Bring me that extension cord. So we got one coil off. That should give us about a two inch drop. Hopefully it does. If not, the other option I've seen is to go to the top coil and cut a coil off of there. And then it gives you a more consistent, even drop. Instead of continuing to take them off of the bottom, it gives you an incremental drop that increases with each coil. Now it should be a lot easier to get back in now that we've got it a little bit shorter. Make sure to line up the bottom coil with the coil pocket. There is an indention in the pocket so that the end coil slips into the one spot where it stops. There we go. Well, it's definitely lower. Probably would want it a little bit lower in the front. So I may have to pull everything, do a link off the top. Should be a little easier now. Everything's loose. I don't know, I'll take it around the block, see how I feel about it. All right, so it's significantly lower. It's pretty level. It may be a little high in the front. I'm gonna give it a few days to settle and see how I like it. I may still go a little lower in the rear and in the front but i want to get the rims and tires first before i do any more lowering so that i know i don't have any tucking issues or rubbing issues so that's going to do it for now like if you like the video subscribe if you want to see more as soon as they're uploaded and as always guys keep on modding